Hey everybody, Tony Mejia here for Wager Talk with your Week 16 Ratchet Play. Happy holidays to all. And while we're used to success here in Ratchet Land, 2022 has been brutal after a strong start. So we've got to win out to get to 500 after a 12-4 and run last season. Here's hoping that we can close out the calendar year on a high note and surge into 2023. This week's offering comes from the Christmas Day afternoon day clash uh between the four and ten broncos and the four and ten rams who square off inside la's sofi stadium in the middle game of sunday's three game set both teams are eliminated from playoff contention and have each won only once since november began denver snapped its five game skid with last sunday's 24 15 win over arizona as the week 15 ratchet game lost on under 36 and a half due to 20 fourth quarter points because we can't have nice things apparently this season. Brett Rippon was solid in his first start in place of a concussed Russell Wilson who is ready to return this weekend for this contest against LA. And whether it's been Matthew Stafford, Bryce Perkins, John Wolford, and now Maker Mayfield, the Rams have scored 20 or fewer points in 10 of the last 12 contests, scoring 17 or fewer in six of the last eight. So they've been really dismal offensively, offensive line issues, a lack of a run game, and losing Cooper Cup have proven to be insurmountable obstacles uh, for a team that really had flourished last season, obviously, in winning the Super Bowl. That doesn't bode well for LA's chances of winning its home finale, considering all those pieces are still gone and Mayfield has come back down to earth, losing to Green Bay on Monday night. The Rams are technically the road team in next week's game against the Chargers and close in Seattle. So the defending Super Bowl champs are set to be an underdog in every game the rest of the way. Denver favored by two and a half points here, which isn't surprising as Jerry Judy has given the uh, offense a boost. And uh, we've seen Latavius Murray come off a 130 rushing yard performance last week against the Cardinals. Of the Broncos, 10 losses, 8 have come in one possession games. And prior to last week's win against Arizona, all of their victories had also come by 7 points or less. So they're at least trending in the right direction with their most lopsided win of this season. They, their receiving core is healthier, as I mentioned, with Judy and Cortland Sutton in the mix. Um, Greg Dulcich, the tight end, has been a revelation, and uh, and now they're uh, also healthier in this group with, with Wilson returning and Ramstar defensive tackle Aaron Donald's ankle still an issue, making him unlikely to go on Sunday. This game is also going to be on Nickelodeon, so if you need another reason to watch, or any reason to watch, um, you can get that slime time touchdown thing that they're going to do. Um, the LA remains ex extremely shorthanded and is basically running out of healthy bodies, so we're going to go ahead and lay the points with the Denver Broncos on the road for our Week 16 Ratchet Play. For Wager Talk, I'm Tony Mejia. Happy Holidays.